Lone Pine, California. Oh my gosh, this place is blowing my mind. And so today I decided to uh, do something that I've been meaning to do for a very long time. A van tour! Me and Rhonda, we've, we've been together for three years now. I've rebuilt the inside two different times. The first build, it was not so great. The second build though, this one, I am extremely proud of. I love it. Everything was built by me with a jigsaw and a couple of Milwaukee uh, cordless drills. All right, so let's go hop inside and I'm gonna give you guys a full tour. Let's go get started. Rhonda is a 1996 GMC Savannah. She was literally the deal of the century. I got her off of Craigslist for $1,500. She's got 212,000 miles on her. She is a two-wheel drive van and actually came lifted when I bought her. She also came with an absolutely massive skid plate, massive brush guard, and of course my favorite feature, the skull and crossbones welded on the front. Alrighty, so let's head inside and I'll show you all of my favorite stuff that I did. So, of course, the best place in the van is the bed. I work here, I sleep here, and I am short enough that I can actually lay crossways, which enabled me to have so much more room for my kitchen and my desk and all of the other things in my van. I actually trimmed down a memory foam mattress that I bought off Amazon to fit in here. And I also used this stuff called hypervent matting to prevent mold. Okay, so next up is where I keep all of my stuff. So I have two large drawers under my bed that pretty much house all of them. This is my clothes drawer. I keep all of my clothes in there with exception to my pants. I'll show you where I keep my pants in a second. And then in this drawer, I keep all of my gear. So that includes camera gear, dog stuff, and mountain bike gear. And of course I have bear spray just because and a couple of different things that I use for work that are kind of too big to fit in my main bookshelf. I travel with a very minimal amount of stuff and even when I'm fully living in this van, I keep it very empty just because I don't like having a lot of belongings around. So this is my little electrical cabinet for all of my charging needs, I have this little 12 volt inverter that I keep down in this closet and all of my cables, all of my Christmas lights plug in here and it keeps everything out of the way and clean. I have all of the cables routed out of there onto the top of my nightstand. And so this thing also doubles as my small camera equipment storage area. So I've got all of my GoPro accessories, all of my filters, all of the lenses stay in this. And then on top, this is the actual nightstand. Stand. So like I was saying, I have all my plugs up here so I can plug everything in right when I go to bed and it's very convenient and out of the way. And of course, you know, gotta protect myself when I'm sleeping. So just in case someone decides to pay me a visit, I'm ready, look out. And as badly as I wanted a van plant, it just didn't really work out. This addition to the van, it's a bookshelf as well as bulletin board. I keep all of my books and hats and notebooks in here as well as all the memories from my friends. And of course, the ungodly large bottle of protein powder. Then under the bookshelf, I have this little cubby where I keep all of my jeans and shorts because they're a little bit too bulky to keep in my regular clothes drawer. So then now let's move on to the kitchen. By far, the kitchen took the longest to build. I really wanted to create something really pretty, so I built all of the cabinets by myself out of plank pine, and I glued everything together and tried to do my best at making it look like they were planed, even though I didn't use a planer. And I think it turned out pretty good in my opinion. So this is where I keep all of my food. I like to use mason jars to stay low on plastic waste and then all of my tea and I've got my pan and plate and bowl up there. Yeah, I keep it simple. Just one of each thing because I'm almost always traveling by myself. This is where I keep all of my smaller kitchen items like my spices and knives and forks as well as my instant coffee. Gotta have a fruit basket. Keep all of my bananas and avocados and other fresh vegetables in here. Next up is the propane stove. I have this little latch here that keeps everything secure while driving. I simply detach it and I can pull it out and either take it outside and cook or just pop it up inside and use it inside when it's raining. I've had this thing for years. It's simple, cheap, and reliable. 
underneath the countertop I keep all of my random things so we've got my water jug my dish towel all of my storage containers my tea kettle salad mixer coffee maker for when I'm feeling fancy one of my favorite little inventions is this stool that doubles as a trash can and I keep it stored over here right next to the fridge also clipped in so it's safe while driving and I have felt on the bottom so I simply slide it out over to the kitchen and then I can sit on it and use it as a stool when I'm cooking so that way I don't have to stand on my knees. This is a winter 12 volt fridge. It's 45 quarts and has plenty of room to store all of my veggies, all of my almond milk and it's awesome. It's been so reliable. It is so efficient that no matter how long I stay parked somewhere my solar panels can completely run it off the grid. As for the exterior cabinet, I keep my yoga mat leaning up against it, and it also has these hooks that I keep my hats, jackets, and mountain bike helmet on. Okay, so on the inside is what I consider my bathroom. It's where I keep my toilet paper, my skincare stuff, first aid, and I mounted this giant mirror on the door so I can feel a little less dirt big. My favorite part is this little pull-out sink that I built from a catering steam plate. There's no actual plumbing in the van, so this is how I get by when I wanna brush my teeth when it's raining outside. Then at the bottom of the cabinet, I've got my shoe closet. Pretty simple, straightforward. I also keep my laundry soap in there. Last but not least is my planar heater. This thing cranks out the heat. It's got this little wall mounted thermostat and it can go up to 30 degrees Celsius and it runs all night long. It is super efficient and I have it tapped into a diesel jerry can that I have mounted on the very back of my van. The heater has been my favorite investment in the van so far. So the very last main part of my van is this little door mounted cubby. I keep all of my cleaning supplies and some dog stuff in there. And then I also built this super handy little flip down table and I use it to work outside with as a standing desk. I also use it just for cooking. It's super nice, super convenient. All right, moving to the top of the van, I've got three 100 watt solar panels made by Renogy. They are mounted on a rack and the wires simply tapped in through the roof of my van. These things work so freaking well. And then on the inside, I have my solar charge controller. And like I said, it powers everything in my van. I keep a little post-it note over the light just because it's super bright for when I'm sleeping. For lighting on the inside, I have four little recessed cans as well as some 12 volt Christmas lights. And then I also have a big fantastic fan that I use to vent for when I'm cooking and also just open it when I'm sleeping. It really helps keep it cool in the van. And so I don't die in my sleep, I've got a propane and carbon monoxide two-in-one detector. For privacy at night, I have these fold down blackout curtains that I sewed. It was a huge pain in the butt to figure out the templates and the dimensions, but eventually I got it. And I use snaps and Velcro to attach them to the walls. They're awesome because at night, when you are looking on the inside and I have my lights turned on, you can barely even see that the van is illuminated. This is super nice for when I'm camping in the city and trying to keep a low profile and be stealthy. I keep my bike on the back of my van on a kuat rack and then I have all of my ski and other camping gear stored up above in a big Yakima skybox. On the side I have mounted an ARB Touring awning 2500. So that is the quick and dirty tour of Rhonda. At some point I will release a fully in-depth tour talking about the battery systems and the electrical and the more complicated parts. But for now, if you like what you see and you want the full build information, go over to my website wild-grit.com and I have a list of every single thing that I used in my van for free with links to Amazon so that you can pick it up for yourself. Thank you so much for watching the van tour. I've got a lot of adventures to get back to. It's way too pretty out here to just film videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can not miss a single video that I make. Any last words, Dusty? All right, let's do it. See you later.